If you're a hip-hop fan, there's no doubt that you've probably heard about the recent drama between rappers. Rappers Bow Wow and P. Diddy have been in the news lately for some drama regarding Diddy's current romantic partner, who also happens to be Bow Wow's baby mama. Yeah, it's messy. Here's everything you need to know. The real reason why Bow Wow hates P. Diddy just might shock you. First, let's talk history. Because if you don't know some of these details about these two, the story has way less impact. Let's start with the basics. Like, who's Bow Wow? In case you didn't know, Bow Wow, or Shad Gregory Moss, is an American rapper and actor. He gained popularity at a really young age. Like, really young. He was discovered by the legend himself, Snoop Dogg, in the late 1990s. By the time he had released his first album, Bow was only 13. At the time, he was signed to So So Def Records, and he continued to release banger after banger with them for a while. Actually, did you know that his name wasn't always just Bow Wow? Yeah, back in the day, he was known as Lil Bow Wow, which makes sense considering the fact that he was 13. In the early 2000s, he continued to dominate and kept on releasing album after album. But early on during this, he had a rather messy departure from So So Death. It put a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths, but that's beside the point. He wouldn't go on to sign to Puff Daddy's record label, the iconic Bad Boy Records, until September 2015. He moved from his other record labels to join Puff Daddy because he wanted to control when his new music came out. This was after his last album had a series of delays that prolonged its release far beyond its intended release date. But funny enough, after his long-delayed album finally got released, he never released any more music. He did announce in 2016 that he would be releasing one more album before retiring from rapping forever. But this album has yet to come out in 2023. Although he hasn't made much music since the early 2010s, Bow Wow is still signed with P. Diddy's record label. The two of them have been partners in the business for a long time. This is important information to keep in mind for later, okay? But basically, the two are really close and have always been in each other's corner. Now, moving on to P. Diddy. Of course, you've almost certainly heard that name before. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, or whatever you want to call him. He's been a prominent figure in the rap industry from day one. His influence dates all the way back to when he signed the Notorious B.I.G. back in the 90s. He's also the man responsible for Usher and Mary J. Blige. He's a multi-Grammy award-winning rapper and producer, and he's released music of his own since the late 1990s, being certified platinum in some albums multiple times. Overall, he's just an absolute legend, and his record label Bad Boy Records has been home to many great artists over the years. So while P. Diddy was not Bow Wow's OG mentor, that honor went to producer Jermaine Dupri, whom he later had an infamous falling out with. But the two had been around each other most of Bow Wow's career. So it wasn't a big shock or anything when Bow signed to the record label after all these years. But all this just makes the recent news about the Diddy and Bow even more shocking. Because Diddy is currently dating Bow Wow's baby mama. Shocking, I know. But how did this all happen? Let me break it down for you. It all started when Diddy was pictured on a boating trip with Instagram model Joa Chavez. The two were seen cuddling up and kissing in the images, and the paparazzi went wild. Now, this might not seem like a big deal to you, because you probably don't even know who Chavez is, which is understandable. She's not a household name after all. But let me tell you something. Joa Chavez just so happens to be Bow Wow's baby mama. Yeah, that's right. The 34-year-old model has a child, a little girl with Bow Wow. Currently, the two of them are obviously separated, although they still have to manage to co-parent while both working in their busy industry. So now do you understand exactly why this is such a big deal? It's kind of crossing a line to date the mother of your friend's child, right? But the strangeness doesn't end here, because things are about to get even weirder. Remember Joa Chavez, the baby mama? Well, she actually has another kid with yet another famous rapper. That's right, it seems she has a type. She has a child with rapper Future, who is actually notorious in his own right for having kids left and right. No, seriously. Did you know that Future has at least seven kids, all with different women? Crazy, right? There are even a few women who have come forward to claim that Future is the father of their kids. He's also been sued for not paying child support and allegedly neglecting some of his children. None of these claims involve Chavez, by the way. And there is no doubt that he is the father of her other child. 
Anyway, naturally this situation is a bit messy, with not one, not two, but three different famous rappers involved with this woman. But the messiest part is by far the relationship between P. Diddy and Chavez. Like, did they even think for a second about Bow Wow? Probably not, considering he's not really involved. But still, it's gotta hurt seeing someone you look up to date your ex slash baby mama, right? So you may be wondering, do they have anything to say for themselves? Are the two of them explaining their relationship online or anything? Well, not really. The original news of the two of them being together was leaked when the boat photos were taken. That was a few months ago. And since then, neither one of them has spoken about the relationship publicly. We can only assume that this means they're together and happy. But when it comes to official statements, there still hasn't been one from either Joie or Diddy. Bao, on the other hand, he suddenly has a whole lot to say for someone who's not in the relationship in question. So you're probably wondering what he has to say about the relationship between his friend and ex. Here's what he said. On a podcast, he talked at length about the relationship and how it affected him. He said that Chavez knew what she was doing when she got together with Diddy. He mainly says this because he claims to have discussed the topic with her before the relationship began, and apparently she knew it was a line she shouldn't cross with him. Interesting. But what's even more interesting is what he said about P. Diddy. He said that with these kinds of things, there's a sort of men's code that men who are friends should follow. The code in question is basically saying that men shouldn't date their friends' ex-girlfriends, but especially not their ex-wives or baby mamas. That seemed to cross a line in Bao's mind. But although this is true, does Bao hate Diddy now? What has this done to their co-parenting? Are they still friendly? The gist of the situation is that Bao Wow is pretty disappointed with the whole arrangement. He says it's a line he didn't think the two of them would cross, and one he thinks shouldn't be crossed. But there is an upside to all this, because Bao said in the same tell-all interview that he's spoken to both Diddy and Chavez at length about their relationship. He says that while he wants to keep his conversation with Diddy especially private, he revealed that they are on good terms. Although he still isn't too fond of the situation. He said that he and the couple had come to an agreement, and they seem to be on the same page as of right now. And unless their relationship gets in the way of Bao and Chavez's parenting together, the whole thing is fine by Bao Wow. So there you have it. While Diddy and Bao aren't on the best of terms, things seem to be looking up. And it definitely makes sense why people think they now hate each other. But hopefully, things don't go too sour between the two. Only time will tell at the end of the day. That was the real reason why Bow Wow hates P. Diddy.